Hello, my darlings. Day two. Sorry, this is day one. <laughs> day two. Day one in the Abundance Masterclass for Lightworkers with a Spiritual Business. Um, day one is to get clarity in your spiritual business. So that's clarity around uh, your clients, around uh, the people that you're here to serve, around your sacred contract, around the transformation that you provide. So I'm going to just uh, give everybody some, some time to find me. You are very welcome, whether you're watching live or watching the replay. My name is Ashling Mooney. I am your spiritual business coach, mentor, angel intuitive here with you this week, answering your questions, coaching, supporting you, giving you feedback. Um, so we kicked off yesterday. We set our intentions. If you haven't watched that video, go back and watch that session. It's really, really important. Um, we'll just help you to get the most from this week. So I'm here. Um, every morning, not really sure <laughs> what I'm going to do because I, I have that we have the three videos. So what I want you to do every day is go and watch a video, which is um, probably about 15, 20, 25 minutes is the maximum one. Download the PDF and do the exercise and then post back in this group and tag me and ask for feedback and coaching support. So that's the activity that I want you to do every day. And we talked about commitment and we talked about you know, making a commitment to yourself and your business and showing up for yourself this week. We did all that yesterday and we talked about setting your intention. Like, What do you want? What's not working in your spiritual business right now and how do you want it to be instead? So go back and watch that first video, the opening session, because it will really just set the, help you to set your goals for this week so you really get the most from it. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me know where you're watching in from, where you are in the world, how you are today. I would love to hear from you. Or if you're watching the replay, do that as well. Um, so for, has anyone watching live already watched the video? And because uh, I don't want to repeat myself in this, I want to add some extra value in these uh, in these live sessions because everything that's important, uh, you know, the, the the three main keys that I want you to get from these from this abundance masterclass is in the videos. So go and make sure that you're watching the videos. So hi, hi, everybody joining. Lovely to see you all here. Hi, Carolina. Hi, Karen. Karen is one of our new members in the alignment program. Woo, woo. And another Karen joined yesterday, Karen Marshall. So lovely to have and Rosie joined last week so lovely to have see all of our new members joining the alignment program as you know it is open for enrollment right now the link is up in the description and um, I think if you go to ashlingmooney.com forward slash abp you should get onto the page but I will post it in the comments afterwards anyway and um, we're open this week and you can join at the current price it will uh, prices are, it will increase on Friday so you have a whole week to decide if it's for you, if it's been calling you for a while, this is the week to jump in because after Friday at eight o'clock, the price will double. Um, for anyone that is ready to jump in and, and make the one installment of 997, the annual payment, you will get a free one-to-one -one coaching session with me worth 500 euros. So that's what we're thinking about. If you're in a position economically to do that, go and book the annual session. But otherwise, um, there is a great payment plan of 99 euros a month for 12 months. And then you pay once, you pay that, and you have that program forever. And it's not just the alignment program, it's the Abundant Heart. It's the heart-centered sales. It's the annual 365 marketing and strategy. It's all of my angel courses, forgiveness, meet your guardian angels, A to Z of angels. It is create webinar. It is just everything in there. Go on the webpage and just see all of the bonuses as long as well as all of the live coaching. But I don't. I don't want to take. So just go and have a look there. And if you have any questions, just um, ask me in the group this week. I'm available this week as your coach to answer as many questions as you have around life, business, relationships, whatever it is. Um. So hello, 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 everybody. Everybody's joining me. This is brilliant. This is great. Okay. So there's some pieces, say yes, yes, in the, or a why, 
If you've already watched the video of day one and uh, you've done the exercise or you've downloaded the activity, the PDF, and you've done the exercise, just say why if you have. Um, otherwise, um, that's fine. Get to it today if you possibly can. It will take you, I would say, about an hour. If you can find an hour in your day, it would be so beneficial for you to do this. Um, so the session uh, today is about gaining clarity. So this is, I share in this video, one of the key things that I see light workers doing over and over and over again. That, and I want you to avoid this because it literally repels business. So go and watch the video for that. But I want to add some other pieces. So I connected in with my angels this morning. I was putting on my makeup and I was saying, what do you want me to talk about today? Um, because I don't want to repeat what I've already said in the video. And, and the, the thought, thought that came into my head, the little angel nudge, was around fear of visibility, but also around your story the power of your story. So in the Abundant Heart program, which is one of the bonuses in the, with the Alignments uh, program, the first couple of modules talk about this really powerful concept that has changed my life and I've seen it spark so many ahas in the lives of my clients and in, the, in their spiritual business. And it's looking at the power of your name and your healer's journey. So you can totally do that today and you can post underneath this video, whatever you find, but I would love for everybody, just after this video, go and, and if you know already, this would be fantastic, go and Google your uh, first name first. Um, and so, so wherever your first name is, so I'm looking at Laura here, so Laura and um, the, the meaning meaning of that name. So Google that and then also Google your marriage name if you did change your name. I didn't change my name when I got married, but my husband's name and family, is, my kids have that. So it is still a very powerful name, uh, very, a name that I'm really connected with, Parabino. So I would, you know, I did Google his name as well. But if you did specifically change your name when you got married, look at your maiden name and look at your marriage name. But in particular, look at your first name. And what I wanted to do is just um, see what the theme is, you know? So if I look at my name, for an example, let me explain why this is important, first of all. Years ago, the angels told me in a meditation, they brought me into meditation, and I could hear this, and it's, it's a meditation that I've created for uh, the alignment program. So we have it in there in the abundance, uh, in the abundance program. Uh, can you see me? Brilliant. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> so in that uh, module hi hi Muriel how are you <clears throat> hi everybody that's joining me thanks for being here so in that module so I my angels took me on a meditation and in the meditation I could hear uh, like a murmur and then it became louder and then I realized it was it was someone chanting my name and it came like a group of elders a group of archangels a group of light beings gathered around me in this meditation and were literally singing and chanting my name, Ashling, Ashling, Ashling. And my angels told me, this is nourishing for you. This is uh, refreshing. This is rejuvenating. Your name holds your whole blueprint. So your full name, my full name is Ashling Rose Mooney. It holds the full blueprint of your soul contract, you know, the, the energy that you come in, what you're going to teach, what you're going to share, what you're going to do in this world. There is so much power in understanding the power of your name. So I encourage everybody to do this little exercise today, this little excavation, archaeological dig today and find out and really connect in with the power of your name. So let's take my name, for example. My name is Ashling Rose Mooney. So my middle name is Rose. And Rose is a family name for me. My daughter's called Emily Rose. My grandmother was uh, Rose and my great grandmother was Rose. So it's a, so it's a family name. Rose uh, brings in the energy of forgiveness, which is something that I teach over and over and over again. Hi, Vani, how are you? Ashley is, is the Gaelic 
for a dream or a vision of freedom. So uh, years ago in revolutionary times in Ireland, um, they created these poems and they were called Ashlings and they were poems to inspire freedom fighters. And um, very, very beautiful poems, but really like really uh, motivating and, and inspiring people to fight for the freedom um, from colonization and occupation. Um, so Ashling means vision of freedom, uh, vision of freedom. And there's also an element of truth and honesty. So there's, that's, that's something, a message that came through from my angels when I did this meditation, that I am a, I am a light bringer. I am a holder of the light of truth. I, I, my style is to just <laughs> TMI, too much information, <laughs> bear it all. I fuck and I swear and I'm just here and this is who I am. Hi Claire, you're never late darling. You're perfectly on time, divine timing. Do you hear me swear? <laughs> So, um, and my last name, Mooney, um, holds the energy of the moon. So I work with women in the world. I work with women in my work, predominantly women, like 99% of the people in my community and that join my programs is women. We've had some amazing, really great men as well, but predominantly it's women that I work with. Um, and it's also, uh, Mooney contains the word money. If you take away a zero, you have money in my name. So, and I love, it's taken me a long time to admit this and really fully embody it. Um, but I love talking about money and I love talking about wealth and I love um, being unapologetic. Now, I wasn't always like this, but being unapologetic um, about bringing in more abundance, more money into our bank accounts for women to be financially free and independent so that we can make a fucking difference in this world, so that we can look after ourselves, buy yourself all the nice things that you need, you know, that you desire to help you to feel good and, and uh, whatever it is that you floats your boat. You know, for some people it's makeup, for some people it's fancy clothes, for some people it's living in a tiny house for some people it's a mansion so it, there's no judgments about where you want to spend that money but money in itself is neither good nor evil really really it's just an energy it's just um it's it's nothing on its own it's absolutely useless if i had a 10 euro note here and i was doing nothing with it it's just useless but if i use it in exchange to buy something then it it, be, it becomes a power Money does nothing on its own. It only does good or bad depending on the hands of the people that hold that money. So I can choose where to spend um, my money. And I, one part of my mission that I've really stepped into in the last couple of years is to support light workers to make money, to create assets in their spiritual businesses to allow in allow them to be financially free clear of debt that was a journey that i went on as well so you can i'm gonna get off my soapbox now in a minute but you can see that the power of our name if you just look at my name there ashling rose mooney how much information that holds about me and my purpose and um my sacred contract so i really would encourage every single one of you to go and google your name today, Google variations of your name. So for example, your name might be Mary. So I want you to Google Myra and Marie and Maria, you know, and really uh, Google the variations of it and really just uh, love that Amy is means loved, how beautiful. Louise is renowned warrior, woo! Taylor Cutter, oh my God, you're not in fashion, are you Amy? <laughs> or maybe you're in the business of making, um, People feel good. Love that. Loved, renowned warrior. Absolutely love that. So, yeah, so it's about looking at the power of your name. That's the first part of the exercise. And the second part, and I would love just fill this up because I just love, um, uh, oh, Karen means pure. Oh, absolutely beautiful. And it's also very close to 
um, cara, which is the Irish word for friend. Uh, Annam Cara, the famous book by, I have it beside my bed, what is it? I have it beside my bed, John O'Donoghue, Annam Cara. So Cara is, is a derivative or is close to, um, is close to the name Karen, so go and Google that as well. Oh, I heard cutting cords, to be honest. Love that. Okay, my darling, love that. So, Amy, tell us about your work. What is your spiritual business? I know you said that you were taking a little sabbatical. So I would love you. Hi, Mary, how are you, love? Lovely to see you here. Um, so, yeah, Amy, you said you were taking a sabbatical. So just post in, let me know what your spiritual business is at the moment. Who do you serve? If you've done the first exercise of watch the first video and done the PDF, you'll be able to tell me or give me an idea of who it is that you're here to serve. What is the transformation that you provide for your clients? So, so let me know, how is this resonating? Give me a heart, give me a thumbs up. If it's, uh, you know, some of you are already in, in the alignment program, you've done this exercise already, um, but it might be worth even revisit, revisiting it and just see if you can get some more information that maybe you've missed before. Uh, great insights Muriel got Muriel Matilda Wrigley love it I'm on track but I need to stand more in my power and just by the name Muriel um, it sounds very close to uh, the sea Mare uh, Maria all of those names Marie Maria as well Muriel, Miriam is very close to that as well. So have a look at that. Have a look at um, the Roberts part of your name as well, Muriel. Um, Wrigley, Roberts, absolutely gorgeous. So there is, there's, just, there's a lot in your name, Muriel. But just listening to the first part, my intuition is telling me that your voice is really, I'm, I'm hearing sort of a sing-song, uh, waves of, of sound waves and music. And Muriel is in our alignment program, so we know each other very well. She's an author and an artist and a channel for divine messages. Um, but this is just an extra layer coming in for you, me darling, and just saying, um, you know, that your, your voice is really, really, um, really, really powerful and to just keep doing what you're doing. I know you've been showing up extra time this last month and I really appreciate that. And I love listening to your voice and hearing your messages. And um, so post in the chat anything else that you can see that comes up around your name, Muriel. You know, you might have a feeling that you might glean some newer insights as well, even though you've probably done this exercise as well before. So what's coming up for people? Let me see. Uh, so Amy's saying tarot healing coaching and shadow work for becoming their best selves so Amy I'm going to say to you go and do the first video because that will give you a lot more clarity um, around because what you're doing at the moment and you'll understand this when you watch the video at the moment you're selling the tools and I want to hear what the transformation is so when you say for becoming their best selves what does that look like what, what does that look like when I am my best self? Am I more confident? Am I more relaxed? Am I more peaceful? So you're, you need to be sharing that transformation when you're sharing the work that you do. So an example I give is I'm an NLP practitioner. I'm backflare remedy practitioner. I've trained in diploma, massage, uh, gym instruction if you want to pull one out of the ethers and uh, angel cards and uh, I also have a degree in adult education and training but I don't share I've never sold a backflare remedy session and I years ago I sold NLP sessions when I first started um, so what I share at the moment is uh, a transformational coaching that's really breakthrough coaching um, for spiritual business owners so it's very very clear it's very clear what I provide and I use all of the tools that I have gained over all the years um, to um, I'm just I'm reading the comments that's what's distracting me and um, all of those tools that I've gathered over the years I use in the in those breakthrough sessions for spiritual entrepreneurs to get online to 
um, create businesses that are sustainable, fulfilling and fucking profitable. You know, that is what I'm in the business of. So I really want you to go and do that. And anyone else that hasn't done it already, go and do that. Muriel is sea breeze. I knew that. I knew there was mare in it somewhere for the sea. Michelle. Let me see. Hello, Michelle. Michelle brings up who is like God. I absolutely love that. So Michelle. Michelle, that's... Um, Literally, Archangel Michael is your right-hand man. Literally walking, or the female version of Michael. They, they, you know, they're not really, angels are not really male or female. They just show themselves to us. Michael traditionally appears as a sort of a male figure. But the energy of Archangel Michael is literally walking with you every single step of your life. Which means that you've had to, and for anyone else who's named Michelle watching this, which means that you've had to learn some really fucking tough and difficult lessons around the energy of uh, managing fear, which means you've been put in some really fearful situations so that you could learn how to manage that so that you that's one of your gifts. And I know Michelle is a, an author, a business coach, life coach, teaches people um, through her incredible life journey. Um, and work and now she's bringing in her witchiness and woo woo and intuition into her work and I love that but uh, teaches the glory in your story um, and Michelle you your path has brought you here and Michael has literally been walking with you every single step every time you felt alone I'm getting emotional here every time you felt alone or afraid um, or worried would you make it would you would you survive um archangel michael was there with you walking with you holding your hand whispering in your ear when you're asleep reminding you to keep going that everything would work out well in the end that everything would work out as it was meant to that you were safe that you were protected so even in the darkest moments you have had angels surrounding you and when i see that vision i see that vision of you as a young child in a very dark room um, and it's lit by this etheric light of angels all around you that maybe you had a sense of or maybe you didn't I don't know but what I can see is you as a child being surrounded by this angelic um, just this, uh, this such a comforting and protective um, force so for anyone that has, is connected with Michael in their name, Archangel Michael is walking with you and is helping you, um, has, ha has literally been helping you. And I know that you've had some tough times and I'm sending you my love, um, big virtual hug. Um, and it's a privilege to have somebody um, with the energy of Michael in their name and in their lives. It's a privilege for anyone that gets to step in and work with these people because it's going to be massively transformational because they've been to the fucking dark side. So, so you know, you might go in there and think, oh, the shit hits hit the fan here and here, but they know what it means when the shit hits the fan. They know what that looks like and they, they've been through the worst. So they can certainly help you in whatever circumstances, no matter how dire or dark you think some of the moments in your life have been um, these people that have Michael in their energy can really, really support you on such a massive level. Love that. Love that. Love that. Ah, I love what comes through. You know, Michelle is in the alignment program. So we've, we've spoken a million times in the last few years. She's a good friend of mine um someone very very close to my heart but this is some new information coming through just as we connect in this group today so i just absolutely love the layers that comes through you know that just adds ah so caramel caramel means the garden of god connected to abundance and love oh fucking mg caramel oh my god so because your name is Butler, I'm going to add in something here, your second name. So 
And I'm going to ask you to look at Cara as well because the C A R is in your name, Carmel. Um, and there's something funny coming in here about caramel, <laughs> caramel toffee, <laughs> sexy caramel, caramel. So there's a lovely message coming through for you, Carmel, and it's around um, loving yourself, um, you know, dressing up, putting on some makeup. You know, if I didn't have to show up here, <laughs> I would not have my makeup on and I'd probably have my hair up and uh, I wouldn't have put on a clean top. So it's like, but I feel great now that I did. I'm looking at myself on camera. I'm like, oh, I'm okay, I'm okay. A bit of makeup does wonders. So it's like those moments in your life, Carmel, when you're feeling a little bit down, a little bit stuck in a funk or a bit paralyzed and not really knowing what to do next. I suppose this goes for everybody. So it's, maybe it's a message for everybody. Um, your angels are saying, just um, look after yourself. You know, take a nice shower, put on some expensive body cream. I bought some beautiful expensive body cream recently called Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth and abundance. And it smells delicious. So that's a tree, you know, maybe once a week when I remember, I take it out and I just literally after shower, just lather myself in this beautiful cream. So, and it feels luxurious and it puts a smile on my face. <laughs> and my husband doesn't know how much it costs. So it's like, what can you do to make yourself feel beautiful, especially when you're having those moments of um, doubt and discomfort and, uh, you know, feeling like you're not getting ahead or you're not following through on things or whatever it is for you at the moment, whatever brings you down and keeps you stuck in, in a bit of a funk. Um, bring out that element of, of self-love and... Um, Trying to see if I can find that message again. Okay, abundance and love. Yeah, so bring in whatever you can. Um, now, another thing that makes me feel abundant is uh, roses. I actually have one here, which is crazy. My name is Rose, but I actually... Now, this was a gift this week. I had white roses for my wedding. Um, but this was a gift this week. I finally took Italian lessons because I've been here four years and I haven't been able to learn myself. So I said, right, I'm gonna get hire a teacher and get some proper lessons. And my first uh, day of meeting this teacher, she said to me, I have all these flowers that have come from a wedding. Somebody doesn't want them, do you want some? And I got this beautiful, uh, I actually took four of them. There was like a wall of flowers that were all just dying. So I took them, brought them home and just they came to life for another two or three days. And this is one of the last ones that is left, still going, that was four days ago. Um, but I just, uh, Carol, because your name is Garden of God, you know, roses and flowers, plants are really good for you to have in your environment. And a rose is forgiveness. So, you know, your mom's name is Rose, you know, my grandmother's name is Rose. My great grandmother's name is Rose. I'm a Rose. My daughter's a Rose, Emily Rose. So I know that forgiveness is a journey that I have been on for generations. And it's, a gen it's, a, it's something that you've been on for generations. So I want you to bring forgiveness to yourself. I want you to dip back into the forgiveness course, my darling. I will post, I'm going to write that down. I'm going to post a forgiveness video in this uh, group for anyone that wants to do a little bit of forgiveness work. I think we might do some inner, the inner child one. That would be lovely. So I'm going to post that video and anyone that wants to do that today, you can do that. Um, but Carmel, so the, the, I'm getting to the point. So self-love, the forgiveness work, um, you know, really pampering yourself, looking after yourself. Um, and that brings in the energy of love and abundance. And embodying that completely you know embodying that completely is something that you are here to share and give back to the world whether that's in a book whether that's in a sessions with a client whether that's meeting somebody at the bus stop and just making them feel better by just being with them you know for two minutes excuse me whether that's when a friend calls 
and they feel better having left you. You are, well, by embodying this self-love, you are giving that back out and you're, you're creating this vibe of abundance and luxury and love wherever you go. So I hope that that's useful. I hope that's making sense. Um, let me see. Is there anyone else? So Michelle is saying, yeah, I have such a very complicated relationship with fear. I can't see the rest of it there. It's, it's uh, cut out. Love that. Yeah. Okay. So anybody else? So how are you? So I want to see your names, what you're discovering about your name. I want you to pop in here in the chat. Uh, and uh, yes, definitely Carmel is to write a book. She's definitely to write a book. And I, oh, I forgot about the butler part. So I want you to uh, think about this, that you are in service to God, whatever God is for you. You know, I'm not talking about God in a religious sense. I was brought up uh, Roman Catholic, but I'm certainly very lapsed and have my own eclectic mix of spiritual beliefs and ideas. And I bring that all into my life. And uh, love is the, the is my aim my goal probably my god or that essence that brings us all together and um, but that you are in service to love or you are in service to god so i would love you just to 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 explore the name butler a little bit more and just see what comes through but for me the message is is service you know and i heard um sonia choquette a few years ago say you know in her first part of her spiritual path, she used to get up every morning and say, can you help me with this, this, and this, and this, you know, to her angels or God or spirit. And then uh, she said after she had, you know, matured and went on her life journey, she began to wake up in the morning and go, how can I serve? That was her question, rather than how to get, but how to give, knowing that we are going to receive whatever we give out into the world returns to us tenfold. Um, so I just thought it was, you know, I would love you to think about that, Carmel. How can I serve? What can I, what can I give to the world? And that might help with procrastination as well. It's certainly getting into service helps me to go live or helps me to do things that really scare me and that I procrastinate on. So, you know, um, the other day I was thinking, will I do this live stream in this group? this other group that I was I just got a notification show up and do something if you want so I thought I'll do a live and then I was procrastinating on it the whole day and I literally picked up a card and it said your words um are healing and I thought oh fuck somebody needs to hear whatever it is that I'm going to say on this thing so that motivated me that act of service motivated me to show up um on that call so I would just ask you to think about that my darling. So Maureen is star of the sea. My surname means grey hair, which I have embraced. I love that. You're a silver fox. Maureen, the silver fox star of the sea. I love that. I <laughs> um, also just discovered my confirmation name is the patron saint of helping professions. Love that. Maureen, what is your spiritual business? Do you have a spiritual business? And what is it, my darling? Pop it in the chat for us. Okay, so that's the first exercise. So keep putting your names in there. I will, I will comment afterwards. I'll tune in and give you a little bit of a message. So that's the first one. The second part of this exercise is, um, and it's a little bit longer. It's in the alignment program, but uh, the full exercise and the meditation and the power of your name and all of that. But just for the sake of, you know, let's do something quick. And I don't know if you'll have time right now to do that but um okay but um yeah so it's your healer's journey so in the alignment program we have this where i ask you to um either pick one milestone in your life or one theme that you can see running through or it could be your full life story or it could be picking maybe three moments from maybe the first 10 years, second 10, 15 years, the next 10, 15, 20, 30 years, wherever you are in your life journey. Um, but divide it up 
in three pieces and just tune in and pick one memory from each of those uh, um, moments. And there's just a message coming through for your angels and saying that if those moments were painful, you know, mind yourself, <laughs> make sure that you have support if you're going to dive into old memories and um, that are can be a bit traumatic or, you know, so just mind yourself, make sure that you have support, counselling support. We should all have a counsellor, teacher, coach or community on our inner dream team and our spiritual team out there but just just make sure and your angels are just saying just uh to go back when we go back into the past anything that might be a little bit traumatic to, to detach from it and just sort of look at it without the emotion so just look at it as a story as if it was happening to somebody else and it's to run maybe you've had an amazing childhood and you've had and you the, the the piece that's coming up for you is a beautiful memory or a beautiful moment in your life maybe when you picked up that favorite book or you found yourself in a field one of like a moment for me that's literally just popped into my head was in my 20s when i was living in paris i was working in euro disney and i on my days off i would just get on i had this train and bus pass and i would just literally get on the bus the first bus outside the house and just see where it went i had no direction and then when I felt intuitively, I would just get off the bus and I would like, okay, get the, the, get the metro here, walk this way, eat, get a sandwich. I would just literally be intuitively in the flow of the day. And one day I found myself at uh, the Palace of Versailles. It was stunning, wonderful to walk around this place. It just elevated my spirit on so many levels. But the most amazing part was just at the very edges of Versailles, I found myself at this river um, and lying in the grass that was really, really tall grass. And I was looking up at the ceiling and I just thought, I'm completely hidden here. I feel completely, uh, I was just a cosmically at one moment with, I just, I melted into nothing. And I just had a moment of like, like an awakening moment or just like this is pure bliss. Just lying here with the sun on my face, invisible and just feeling like I was part of the world, part of this vastness. So that, that's a moment that came in to my just literally right now as I'm listening to you. Um, but I've had lots of other moments. I had a memory that came through today. Myself and Aaliyah, my husband. We're traveling in the Amazon, we're, we're traveling in South America and we went on a three or four day trip into the Brazilian Amazon. We had a guide, of course, and we saw monkeys, we saw lots of different things. We visited tribes, we went on a boat, so we fished for piranha, we did amazing things. But one of the most heart stopping moments for me, beautiful moments was we were in the middle of the, of the forest, the jungle. Uh, completely covered head to toe in clothes because it was just mosquito zone um, and just turning around and seeing a blue morpho butterfly which was literally like the size of my two hands together it was wings that big and um, flying and blue morpho have this electric blue uh, fluorescent sort of uh, look on their wings and I saw one of uh, those butterflies in the jungle, Elias saw too, and it was just one of them. We didn't have digital camera at that time, so I have no photos. But it was just a moment of, oh my God, this is, this is the best fucking thing about this jungle trip. <laughs> this is why I'm here to see this butterfly. And then, you know, they're two beautiful moments. There have been fucking terrible moments in my life when I've dealt with depression and you know, I've had family members that haven't been well and, you know, I've had lots of childhood memories that you could say were wonderful and some of them that were very traumatic. So whatever you want to grab for this exercise, and you don't have to share it in this group because I know this is a big group and it might not be comfortable for you um, to share. But if you have a journal for this week, I would recommend it or a notebook or just gathering some pages together and just, um, you know, see what wants to come through ask your angels give me three memories from different parts of my life and just play with it see what wants to come out onto the page um michelle you're here 
the glory in your story woman if you have anything to add to this i would love to you know post it in anything that that you could add to this exercise that might be helpful um but yeah so that's it so i would love you to just take these one even if that's all you can do or three would be better from three different eras in your life and just see what wants to come through what do you notice about that experience and then ask yourself this really important question what are the lessons that i can take from this moment that i might have missed what are the lessons that i i can take from this moment that i might have missed back then so if i look at that um blue morpho experience the message that i missed and i didn't get this for years and years later was that the butterfly is one of my power animals my spirit animals and it wasn't until about 10 years later that i literally had a transcendent where the transcendental sort of experience where the, i was on retreat on my own my 44th birthday it was i went on retreat on my own for a couple of days and um uh, i had this experience where i became a butterfly it literally went into my whole system and i literally became the essence of butterfly so um I didn't realize for another 10 or 20 years that butterfly was my spirit animal. And the message that started coming through today is I've forgotten. I've forgotten until I posted about it today and until it came through now. So it's something that's relevant for me right now because my work is about transformations. That's what I give for my clients. Um, you know, that's the work. That's what I want. I want people to transform their money story, their business story, their financial story. And their confidence story i want us to change that so i am about transformation and you can't get a more transformational symbol than the butterfly which literally deepak chopra uh, describes it as putting your bicycle into the shop to get repaired and coming back and find a boeing 747 in its place <laughs> or a super jet in its place i don't know what's the i'm really showing my age with the boeing 747 <laughs> But whatever the whatever the whatever the airplane is at the moment, the big super jet, that's what a butterfly does when it comes when it changes from a caterpillar to an actual butterfly and gains wings and the ability to fucking fly from being an earthbound creature. In just in one life, it goes from being an earthbound creature to flying with wings. So. Yeah, so it's it's a uh, it, it can really give you some amazing insights. These little stories or these little moments. So I invite you to do that uh, today to help you just get even more clarity around this idea of clarity. But please go and watch the video and download the PDF because that's the starting point for this for these extra exercises that I'm giving. So Stephanie says, "What does Stephanie mean?" Let me just see. Uh, Stephanie is the name that evokes logical reason. Oh, intelligent, intuitive, graceful, and, ex and psychic. Oh, I don't know why that's not letting me see the rest of that. Interest in spirituality. Stephanie, French staff. First disciple to receive the martyr crown. Okay, I can see half of the message. Oh, is that somebody else's message? I don't know. Hang on. Let me just see if I can get these messages here. Sometimes Facebook does a little bit of a jumpy thing and I can't see the, the messages of the moment. So, um, so Stephanie, what's coming through basically for you is, and I'm seeing, I'm seeing you show up more and more like this. And... Um, it's the red lipstick. It's the energy of, I would Google this goddess called Sekhmet. M, M E K H, I think it is, M E T. Uh, go and Google Sekhmet because she is in your life. She is the red goddess. She is the, lion, the head of a lion. Uh, she is the goddess of fuck no, really powerful boundaries. Um, very psychic, very intuitive, very clear, uses anger um, as a power 
you know, when, you, when we get angry, if you think about this, when we get angry, we get very direct. Now, we can choose to uh, abuse that <laughs> or we can choose to really help it to give us confidence and focus. So have you ever seen somebody that is fucking pissed off? You want to get out of their way. You don't want to, you don't want to get in their way. You, you, get, you literally give way when you see a woman who is righteously angry. Um, so there's something about um, uh, the energy of your name. By the way, um, the longer your name, the, like the more, con uh, is, it, is it, I can't remember what it is, what it's called. So like for example, Katerina, Katerina would have four bounces in their name. So it's a, uh, there's something else, um, the, the, a bigger, a big, big mission is what I'm trying to say. So if you think about Catherine the Great, Stephanie is quite a long name and your name is double barreled as well. So I'd go and look at those two double barrels. Um, but there's just so much in this. So, so go Google Sekhmet. Um, she's here to teach you about boundaries. Um, she's here to teach you about the power of saying no. I would call in the Archangel Haniel. She's your, your girl as well. If I have a picture of Haniel here. Uh, look at this. Oh my God. Look at this. Haniel. Look at her. And she says, take the fucking leap. You are divinely protected. So whatever you're thinking of right now, my darling, it is totally time. Hold no prisoner, Stephanie. Everybody watch out for Stephanie in uh, six months time. We're going to see a massive change and transformation for you in your business. Um, and in your life but in particular the um there is a lot of money there i've been shown you sitting at a table with a lot of money um, and it's like there's money on the table you're leaving money on the table so that might mean that you need to create some better systems in your business you might need to i, I don't know do a website or if you haven't already got one or um I had a session with Stephanie, by the way, and I loved, uh, she works, she is, she works in Feng Shui. She took me on a tour around my house and was able to show me what was missing, what things I needed to move to bring in more abundance and joy and uh, all the good things that I wanted in my life. So I'd highly recommend uh, Stephanie for a session. And Stephanie, I loved your after process when you asked for testimonial and um, you, I love that bit, you asked for testimonial, you asked me to fill out a survey, you gave me some links, I loved all that. Um, and so I love the back end, the front end, I think you could increase your prices, I think you could make it simpler for people, so as soon as somebody replies, have a little process in place to literally get them the link ASAP. So people, when they, asked to work with me if I you when I used to do one-to-one -one calls people would you know I would be enrolled in bigger programs or a VIP back it or a VIP day and I would literally get off the call somebody would say yes and I would literally send them the link okay here you go <laughs> let me know when you've paid and we can get this ball rolling and people would um people would be like I fucking can't believe how quick you gave us gave me that link to pay so I literally, you know, once you make a decision, because I know that once the payment is made, the transformation begins. I have had clients, I had one client that paid in full for a program and literally within the next week, she won a competition to get her whole uh, house uh, insulated, worth thousands of euros. A client came in and handed her a lot of cash in an envelope and said, thank you so much. Don't even attempt to give it back to me. Someone else gave her some free stuff. She literally was like, she texted me within a few days and she was like, oh my God, since I signed up for this program, literally um, abundance and opportunities and whatever she wanted was coming um, and surprises were coming, unexpected surprises. So um, so there's money been left on the table. So, and it's, it's very close. So it's tiny little tweaks. And I would say, if you want to, you know, do this course, do the number one, number two is clients tomorrow, and then cash is number three. I would do this, the number three one, 
if you implement that ASAP, like literally the minute you get it, you could uh, bring in new clients and raise your prices overnight. Um, and a client used this and brought in a thousand euro literally overnight. Five clients signed up for a package of 197 and he literally paid for his full um, subscription into a program that he had signed up for. So that's what I would recommend. Um, Stephanie, I've just found Sekhmet in my goddess cards. Love it. So I am waffling here now for ages. So let me know how, how this is resonating. What's your biggest aha so far? Just before we go, what is your biggest aha? Um, oh my God, I love that. Colette Kavanagh. Um, go and, and Google Patricia means noble and St. Patrick. I was just going to say Patrick Kavanagh. Um, so go and Google the poet Patrick Kavanagh. Learn a little bit about his life as well. That might give you just a little extra layer of insight, Colette, into... Um, I'm guessing Patricia is your middle name. So... <clears throat> You know, uh, there's something really powerful there. Uh, uh, so Colette means victorious people. What a fucking amazing name. What an amazing name. And Patricia means noble. And St. Patrick was also an engineer, which is my first trade. Reams means gifts of God, royalty. And Kavanagh is my married name. O-M-G. Like literally look at the energy that you are bringing in there, Colette. And I would also, I'm, I'm going to add another layer because I can see that you're getting all of this. Um, one of your uh, gifts is to teach women to feel like royalty. I know you're now in the beauty trade. Um, and there's, there's something, an energy here about... Um, about uh, teaching women to feel beautiful in their own skin. But the extra layer that I wanted to add in is, a, is, is this collect, has this energy of collect in it, has this energy of gathering. Um, I would love you to go and explore, I think it's the four tendencies or is a human design. DJ is here, the Geneva. You can add some info in the go and book a session with the Geneva. She's the human design queen in this group. Um, uh, but Colette, I would I would look at um, the energy of are you a connector? Are you someone that brings people together? Are, would you be a good networker? Or are you you know, I, I can, the vision that your angels are showing me is of you speaking to large groups of people, making an impact on the lives of those people. And you're also speaking for large groups of people. So you're speaking to them and inspiring and motivating. But you're also, so I see you standing with this audience of people that you're inspiring. They're laughing, they're crying, they're just like, oh my God, this is fucking life changing. However, there's also this picture of you with all these people behind you and you are leading the way. You are advocating for um, good things to happen for all of these people, mainly women, to be honest, in the background with some children I can see as well. So obviously affecting women with kids. Um, but so there's, there's two ways. So I really just want you to, to play with that, just adding in that little angel nudge layer in there just play with that and see what wants to come through how could you um bring networking or um yeah can just it's just networking or bringing people together and speaking up for people as well is part of your life purpose it's just something you might find that you always end up <laughs> shouting up for the underdog speaking up for the other dog or maybe you're writing a letter to your supermarket uh, you know, I was thinking about that this morning. In a whole sea of plastic yogurt pots, there's this one brand called Yomo that is fully fucking paper. And I'm just like, it's a little bit dearer. I buy them now. I don't let any plastic yogurt pots come into my house. But I was thinking, maybe I should just write to the supermarket and say, fucking wow, well done for putting Yomo on the shelves and maybe bring in some more or maybe reduce the price and do a sale or whatever. And then maybe I can post something on social media and say, everybody buy Yomo because they're the only company out there that is creating 
uh, paper yogurt pots. Um, and that might sound really silly example, um, but it's something that's important to me. It's one of my values is to leave this world a better place and to speak out about anything that I think is is wrong. And one of those things is unnecessary fucking use of plastic that I am leaving in this world. So I refuse to buy the plastic pots anymore. And I only go to one supermarket because that's the supermarket that supplies the paper ones. Um, so anyway, <laughs> okay, I, I don't know if that was useful. But, um, thinking of setting up a group for women, that is 300% uh, yes. 300% yes. <clears throat> Look at this fucking card. This is you, Colette Kavanagh, Colette Patricia Kavanagh, Colette Patricia Reams Kavanagh. <laughs> You are a spiritual teacher and leader. Look at this kick-ass woman. She's tattooed, she's colorful hair, she's tattoos up all her necks, she's wearing unconventional clothes, and she is just like, get the fuck. We're really getting the Sekhmet energy and powerful energy. This is actually Metatron, the energy of Metatron in a female sort of form. Very, very powerful. This is you, Kala. If you have the deck, go and look at the, at the words for that. <clears throat> so I'm just going to see anything else that I missed in the comments. Um, if I did miss something in the in the comments, you can repost it now quickly before I go. I know I've been on here a long time. I hope this was useful. Give me an aha, something that you got from this. Um, and uh, have you any advice for me setting up a Reiki business? Okay, Maureen, go... <laughs> That is my biggest piece of advice, is to stop selling the tools. So, and I specifically reference Reiki in that video. Stop selling the tools and start selling the transformation that you provide. And by the way to do that is to go and um, have a look at your clients, have a look at the transformation described in your words and in their words. And it's all packed into that first video, um, part one, which is clarity. Go and do that, Maureen and then come back tomorrow. I'll be live again tomorrow at 10 a.m. And, uh, and we can, you know, we can take a look then. Post in the group, whatever. So everybody, go watch the video, download the PDF, do the exercise, post in the group and tag me so that I, um, I can give you some coaching and, and my feedback and support on that. I'm only available this week. Monday to Friday, Friday 8 p.m. The group will be gone. The, this is just to give you a taste of what it's like to work with me and to be in our community of angel lights. And then it just to give you the opportunity that if you are ready, you can enroll in the alignment program right now before it goes up on Friday. And we have many, many angel lights on this call and in this community. And um, please share, comment, do a live stream if you want, share your experience. I'll be posting some video testimonials in the next few days as well um it's a fucking one of the best places to be on the internet i know i'm the host but honestly and truly it is an incredible place the the coaching the live coaching this community support and um, the programs i've literally my life's work of angels and business training and support is in that thousands and thousands of euros worth of content to support you on every single level of your life and business journey. You can literally get started at 97 euros a month. The link is ashlingmooney.com uh, forward slash ABP, Angels and Biz Program. So I will post a link um, in the comments and it's definitely in the description as well. So if you feel called to join us, and uh, join all of our new members that have joined in the last few days and um, we would be thrilled to have you there as part of this community so all my love have a great day do the fucking work make time and do the fucking work please and um, while we're here and able to support you and uh, i will see you back here at 10 a.m tomorrow morning uh, where we're going to go a little bit deeper on the um idea of clients getting more clients in your spiritual business so we're going to go a little bit deeper with that and then the next day I'll be here talking about cash, how to get that money flowing into your business. And then finally on Thursday, I will have a very special webinar on, on Zoom um, sharing with you my seven secrets to multiplying the money in your spiritual business and your life. Um, and that is it. And then we'll have a closing session on Friday. Everything happens at 10 a.m. 
UK time. I'm here for the whole week. Use me, use this space, okay? Tag me, let me know if you want support. Loads of love, my darlings. Have a great day.